Okay, uh, today I'll be reviewing Bioshock 2 Ladysmith Splicer. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back. If you want to read that, you can pause it. And on the bottom, the other figures that are available. And here's the figure. What the machine looks like out of the box. She comes with a stand, a rolling pin, a mask, and a Tommy gun. Yes. Let's get a closer look. Alright, here she is. With the mask on. Kinda. Here's the Tommy gun. Got some pearls around her neck. A rolling pin and the flap of skin coming out. A little pig feet. Here are her legs. Pieces going out. Looks very nasty. See the detailing on her. It's really good actually. Let's look at her from the back. She could definitely not stand by herself because of those little tiny feet. Uh, let's get her mask off. And as far as articulation goes, her head is on a ball joint, shoulders are uh, bald hinged, and then the elbow is swivel, and the waist is on a ball joint, legs, oh, the hips are uh, cut joints, and that's it, nothing else. So look at her face. See those teeth? Mm -hmm. Closer look at the weapon. Detailing on her is really good, actually. At first, I wasn't going to pick this one up, but I uh, saw that Toys R Us had to get it. And uh, she costs about $13.99 plus tax. Just like all the other figures, except for the bouncers and the, and the, and the Rosie. Those are 20 bucks each. And, and there you go. Thanks for watching.